the mission of Galvin is to help you be healthier. It's to help your families be healthier. It's to motivate you, empower you, connect you with a community of resources and, and products. And so I really think that this is going to be one of the biggest pieces of Galvin. We got a bunch of people on our team here. Um, if you guys have met me before, I'm Nathan Covey, the VP of Marketing of Galvin. Um, we have Jeff Wilhite, he'll talk to us in a minute. He's the president. Um, Caleb Taylor is also here representing Galvin. Um, there with the cool glasses. Uh, Caleb's the director of marketing. We also have Casey, who brought a special guest with her, um, her dog. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Casey help, uh, is the VP of operations. Um, so yeah, we got a bunch of people on our team tonight. And it looks like we got some more people moving in. Um, sweet. Well, I, I think, uh, Jeff, if you're ready, should we should we get rolling on this? I know I only put about 30 minutes on this, um, on the event, so um, I say we get started. Yeah, we're just excited to, uh, to, to you know, do this uh, on a regular basis every now and then to, you know, uh, talk to the community, to give you guys updates, tell you what, what's, what's happening as far as progress and and um, you know, answer any questions that might come up in in, in a setting here. So we're gonna you're gonna see more and more of these um, uh, calls uh, from us. And um, you know, to to start, you know, we're excited to change uh, to, to for the new name uh, that we rolled out a couple of weeks ago. We hope that you guys uh, like it, and 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 we want to discuss it. We're we're. We're really excited about it. It really aligns with what our our purpose is, what we're what uh, what we're all about here at Galvin. We actually worked with a really great, um, just so you guys know, really uh, world class uh, marketing team that have done some really big things and went through this really this big process, you know, of identifying and 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 it was not just like a, in in a day. It was over a course of many many weeks and. Y'all, even a couple months, I think, total of, uh, of some meetings here and there, and let, letting things, um, you know, percolate in our in our in our team, and coming back with answers, and 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 we arrived at this. And so this is really with a lot of thought. The word uh, Galvin comes, you know, and our our slogan there: return to the well, return to the well, become become well, return, you know, to health, wellness, and 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 overall uh, well-being uh, just fits perfectly. The the word comes from the word galvanize. Um, this word is a powerful world, word. It has actually two really kind of uh, different definitions, uh, kind of unrelated definitions, but that work perfectly again with our our mission and what we're what we're uh, uh, you know building over here uh, with this project. The first the first uh, definition is to shock or excite someone into action. Yes, that's what we're us we're doing. This is the the, the motivation of taking healthy actions and getting rewards and everything that we're about that you guys have heard us talk in other presentations and seen on, you know, our website and our materials and, um, you know, in all those areas. And so uh, so that's it's just the perfect word for that. Um, and then we have the other definition. It means to coat. They take iron or steel and they coat it with a protective layer of zinc. So if you've ever seen a metal that's galvanized, it's protected. It's it's from corrosion and corruption, which is really just a perfect blockchain definition as we put medical records and information and it's cryptographically secured and protected uh, on the blockchain. So, um, the, you know, those two definitions, again, just fit perfectly with our uh, align, align with our mission. Um, go ahead, Nathan, next slide. Um, you guys have seen this, I think, over time. You know, we're doing a little bit different. Rather than replaying, um, you know, the, the similar presentation that we do every time, we're we're talking about a few new things today. Um, this is the ecosystem that we're putting together that has different uh, products and services uh, in there. Today, we'll be. These are all the things that are coming here at Galvin. Um, you guys all know about rewards and blockchain rewards uh, that we'll be calling uh, Eyes. From Gal so Galvin and the token will be called Eyes I Z E. So the token that you'll see out there, um, uh, you know, eventually in the future on on exchanges and things will be called Eyes. So together it's Galvin Eyes. Um, but you know, our community uh, is one of the products that we're built. You know, we build through um, through everything that we do through you guys through through joining a community through 
uh, supporting each other and healthy habits and doing it together, not just uh, alone um, in a, you know, in a vacuum, but, but doing it together. Um, you guys see number one, I kind of going out of order here, but uh, number one at the top there, inform, info, uh, informatics, which is the, uh, all of the, the medical records and the unbiased, transparent health information uh, that we're going to give every get access to and put on the blockchain that will know that it comes from trusted sources and it's not, you know, corrupted or editorialized by 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 any any others anybody else's um, uh, agendas. Um, you know, the self assessment tools that we'll be putting in place. You guys have heard us talk about Canary and. Um, the voice recognition that we'll, we'll be implementing with the mental uh, wellness, mental fitness part of, of uh, our ecosystem. And then, you know, the expertise, all of the all of the medical experts and maybe in the in telemedicine and the, you know, fitness and nutrition and mental wellness, um, all the all the experts that will be uh, having plugged into our into the ecosystem as well. And then, you know, um, and then tonight we'll be talking about um, some of the programs, some of the things that we're doing. We're excited. Again, you'll be seeing us introducing new uh, applications, new apps, new, uh, you, you know, tools and, and things in all of these areas. So just as a quick reminder of that, and, you know, um, so tonight we're going to talk about specifically one of the first ones to come out that we're going to be putting out here that we're going to uh, release that we're excited about. And, and uh, Nathan, why don't you why don't you take it from here, guys? Nathan, all of you that you guys that know Nathan and have seen him in, in Discord or communicated with him in any way know how, how incredible Nathan is. He's really uh, been heading the kind of uh, product design and, and kind of productization of, uh, of this product that, that you're going to see tonight. And so we're going we're gonna to let him kind of explain it and walk us through all of it. But uh, Again, um, you know, we're excited that you guys are all here and appreciate your support in this in this project. And we're excited about the the things that that are that are coming down the pipe for us. So, um, Nathan, why don't you take it from here? Awesome. Thank you, Jeff. OK, guys, let's talk fitness. Um, this is really, really an exciting day for me because I know for months and if you guys have been with us since the very beginning, back when we were doing events in October um, and when we went down to Vegas and all of these calls we've done, we always talk about we're going to integrate fitness into Galvin. Um, but we really haven't showed the world any of these details until now. So I am really excited to present this because I really believe um, at the end of the day, the mission of Galvin is to help you be healthier. It's to help your families be healthier. Um, it's to motivate you, empower you, connect you with a community um, of people, of resources and, and products. And so I really think that this is going to be one of the biggest pieces of Galvin. Um, so just to start out, let's talk a little bit about the health benefits of physical activity. A lot of you guys already know this. Um, I, I was going to make... Um, our own little infographic here, but I decided to take this straight from the CDC because I thought they explained it best. Um, but really, as you can see, there are some immediate uh, benefits of physical activity and there's long-term benefits. Um, as you can see, you got sleep, less anxiety, blood pressure, and then really the long-term benefits are the things that really are gonna help our health um, because this is brain health, heart health, cancer prevention, healthy weight, bone strength, balance of coordination. A lot of these things, are connected to diseases and so really at the end of the day fitness a lot of people have said that fitness is one of the best medicines in the world um, and we believe that as well at galvin um, a lot of the data shows it and it really can reduce your risk for disease in so many different categories um, one of the things though is one one thing you might notice here is the immediate benefits are not as big and they're not as many as the long-term benefits. Um, so what we're trying to do at Galvin is make some of these immediate, introduce some new immediate benefits so that you can get rewarded now and later. Um, we'll talk about that just in a bit. Um, but first of all, let's look at what, what every big health organization in the world recommends. Um, a lot of us may already know this. Uh, maybe you learned this at one point and you need a little refresher, but the American Heart Association, Mayo Clinic, CDC, they all recommend 
150 minutes of moderate physical activity per per week or and or a mix of two of the two 75 minutes of vigorous physical activity per week um and really it's it's that simple they recommend you spread it out um over several days rather than just doing all of this in one or two days but that's pretty much what they've given to us and you might ask okay what 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 is the definition of moderate and vigorous vigorous activity and we'll get that get to that in a little bit but um if you had to guess what do you think the percentage of people let's say us adults in the united states what percentage do you think actually follows this right now if you guys want to put this in the chat put down a little prediction um let's let's see who's the who who knows all of uh, their data and who's kept up to date with this stuff but what percentage of people do you think actually follow this in the united states Let, let's let's get some comments up in here 15 percent. that's good that's good that's pretty warm actually that's pretty good let's see let's see if anyone can get a little closer 15 percent 22 percent 20 mm. 30 percent 10 percent 9 percent okay okay you guys you guys are close you guys are good these are good answers um hamed i don't know if you googled this but it's actually 22.9 percent that's about one in five of american adults meet these recommendations um and obviously there's not because this is a an american a u.s guideline um there's not a lot of data out there about how other nations and countries specifically follow this but if you look at fitness levels of other nations america actually as unhealthy as we can be we actually are one of the highest physical activity nations in terms of people that go and work out and have gym memberships and things like this so um the rest of the world there also there are some countries that beat this for sure but we would imagine that a lot of the country a lot of the world is kind of in the same boat with this so um only a fifth of us are getting the exercise we need that that is that just blows my mind um and no wonder 75 percent of healthcare spending really could be prevented um if you look this up in the us 75 percent of healthcare spending could be prevented if people made better decisions that is just insane so really if we can get people to exercise more which is one of the best medicines for preventing diseases then we can we we can help change this and we can lower costs for everyone and make everyone healthier and happier um we just got a we just got a question in the chat. Does walking to the fridge, does walking to the fridge count as moderate exercise? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, if I guess vigorously for seventy-five minutes during the week. Yeah, do it vigorously. The intensity of your walk. <laughs> oh, if the fridge is five miles away. That's right. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah, I guess it depends on the intensity of the walk. Um, we'll get to workout intensity here in a minute. So here's the thing we want to hack human behavior a little bit there's a lot of studies out there you can google um does money or do financial incentives or do um giving people like social interaction even do some of these things can these things motivate people to work out and to um, not hit the snooze and go to the gym um, and a lot of these studies actually say that there really is an effect on this and we we believe at galvin that really we can motivate people through some incentives um and this the incentive we're going to be using is the eyes reward um so i'm showing you some exclusive stuff for the first time we are actually i will say um and this is exciting to announce right now we are developing um this app that you're seeing um the these designs may change a little bit but we are actually designing this as we speak so this is this is really cool it's it's going to be really fun to to actually send this out to you so you guys can download it. Um, but let, let's look at this a little, little bit. What we're building is pretty simple. You have a, a lot of us have these amazing wearable devices that track all this data. Um, so we are going to connect this to the Galvin app. Um, your wearable data will show your proof of exercise. And when the recommendation is met based on all the CDC guidelines and all of the health organization guidelines, you will receive um, rewards. And we'll dive a little bit more into the specifics of this but um it's really this simple concept you go and exercise and you get rewarded and we believe that through um these simple incentives that we really can we can motivate more people to start working out and reaching these recommendations therefore reducing their risk for diseases in the long term um so 
I'm going to answer a few questions that you guys may have already. First of all, what metrics will be rewarded? Um, so to dive a little deeper into this, let's define moderate and vigorous activity. The way this is calculated, you actually just take your max heart rate, which if you don't know what your max heart rate is, it's 220 minus your age. Okay. Um, so if we're taking uh, Jeff's, Jeff's max heart rate, it's about 220 minus 70 because Jeff's looking a little old. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but um, 220 minus your age, and that's your max heart rate. That's like the maximum heart rate you should have. Um, and then to get your moderate target heart rate zones and your vigorous, you just take the percentage of your max heart rate. So moderate is 50 to 70% and vigorous is 70 to 85%. So this is pretty simple. We're not trying to reinvent all of the data and all the recommendations out there. We're just trying to support it and get people to actually follow it. So we are going to reward people and we're going to track how much time per day and per week are you spending in this 50 to 70% range and the 70 to 85% range. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to reward you daily and weekly. Um, these, this daily number is subject to change, but this weekly number, this is based on all the science and everything, but we are going to reward you when you have a elevated heart rate in your moderate or vigorous zones for 30 minutes, you're going to get a reward. And we'll talk about what those rewards are in a minute. And then your weekly reward, you will also, you'll also be able to see on the app, um, your progress towards the 150 minutes and you will get a reward when you reach that. So this is very simple, but I think very powerful. Okay, so what are the rewards? This is your next question. This is gonna be in two phases a little bit. So phase one, will actually, you will actually be given points to rank higher in the eyes distribution. And the way you qualify to be in this bucket in the first place is through your smart node and through your light node. So I'll, I'll dive a little deeper into this, but Really, if you own right now a smart node or even a light node, when you go and work out and reach these recommendations, you will get extra points added in your distribution ranking. Because really at the end of the day, how the distribution is going to work is it's going to be ranked in terms of who is contributing, who is giving more to the Galvin ecosystem, who is, who is uh, working out and doing all these things. It's proof of action blockchain. And so one of these actions that's going to have a lot of influence on your ranking is going to be working out. And I, I will say we haven't, um, a lot of you may be asking like, what are these exact numbers going to be? And how is this exactly going to look? We are going to publish this information. We're just, um, we're just adjusting and finalizing a few things. And then we're going to publish a whole document on how the distribution is going to work. But what you should know for now is you working out is going to allow you to get a lot uh, to get higher access to the eyes distribution and it will be significant. I will say that the difference between someone who owns a Galvin smart node and just runs their node for someone that has a Galvin smart node and also works out, there will be a significant difference and we'll, we'll show those numbers a little bit down the road. Okay. Phase two, and this is going to take us a little longer, but there we're going to have to create an unlimited token that rewards you for every action. And this is all going to be based on NFTs. This is going to get really fun down the road um, when you're going to be able to customize an avatar and buy different NFTs that uh, level you up and act as multiplier as multipliers on your workouts. Um, I won't go too into detail with that right now. Um, we're really focusing on phase one, but this is going to be really exciting that we, we really feel like this is going to motivate people um, to, to work out. So this is going to be awesome. Okay. Um, a next, a next, uh, another question that people are probably wondering right now, what devices will be supported? Um, we actually did a survey the, uh, about two or three weeks ago, shout out to anyone who took that survey. Um, we, we appreciate all of your responses and your feedback. So, so that's awesome. Everyone that participated, but in that survey, we discovered a lot of things. Number one, um, amongst our community, most people have Apple watches, um, if they do have a wearable at all. Um, and we actually did see the super majority of people in our community already have a lot of these wearables. Um, second up was Fitbit. And then third was a mix of some Android watches like Samsung and Huawei, uh, Xiaomi, and some um, Android compatible watches. And so we're actually going to be rolling out. This is going to be in phases. But first, we're going to integrate with Apple Health and then Fitbit and Google Fit. But we really want to roll out to these three because this covers most of the market because Apple Health isn't just a one-size-fits-all. They also integrate with Aura Ring, Whoop Band, 
um, Huawei, Withings, Garmin, um, a lot of these integrations. So um, for those of you that already have these wearables, that's awesome. If you don't have one, um, we are going to send out some recommendations of ones that will, um, we'll send some different options um, based on pricing. Like if you're looking for something a little nicer or something more affordable, we'll send out some recommendations based on what is going to work best in this ecosystem. But this is really the way we prove that we're exercising. Um, there's there's no really other way to do it. And the, the awesome thing about your heart rate, it is the most ungameable um, and the most provable health, one of the most provable health statistics. And so anyone worried about someone's going to go game this, really, we believe that heart rate is the, the hardest thing to game and one of the best indicators of your health. So it really, so it really is cool. Um, one note I will say, if you're looking, if you don't have one yet, or if you already have a, a wearable device, um, two things, first, make sure it can track heart rate, but secondly, make sure it can also track heart rate during a workout. Um, because what you'll see is, for example, on the Apple watch, you can start a workout and it's going to be actively tracking your heart rate throughout that workout and give you the, give you the most accurate results. Um, if your watch only tracks heart rate, it might have a tougher time getting you accurate results, but for best results, something that can also, um, track your heart rate during a workout. <clears throat> cool. Um, and we're, 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 this is, this is more of a simple presentation. I know before we've um, done a lot of things, but we're just kind of focusing on fitness today. But the great news for everyone on this call who's a node owner right now, if you're a node owner, you're on the wait list. Um, that's the great news because you might be asking, okay, how do I get started with this? How do I get in line? If you're a node owner, you're on the wait list. We are releasing this and using this first amongst all of the node owners. Um, if you're not a node owner, um, we also, and you're still trying to get into this ecosystem, we have two options. We have the smart node, um, which increases in price, but we also have the light node, which is always going to be $25. So it's an easy way to get started in this that most people can afford. Um, but that, that, so, so this is going to be awesome for all of the node owners. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it guys. I mean, I, we're going to, we're going to look at your questions. If you uh, feel free to drop a bunch of questions, I'm sure a lot of you have questions, but that's a simple overview of what we're working on. Um, we don't have an exact timeline or launch date yet, but just know this is one of our biggest priorities before we, we start the eyes distribution to node owners. We really want to make sure that we have a product that is in line with our mission, which is to empower people to live healthier. So we are really trying to push the production of this so that it can be ready right when the eyes distribution starts. Um, so, hey, if just um, if you haven't already, if you haven't followed us on social media, if you haven't even created a Galvin account or you're yet to purchase a node, wherever you're at in your Galvin journey, scan this QR code. Um, Caleb, if you can drop the link in, um, drop the link in the chat, but get started in this ecosystem. If you haven't bought a node yet, uh, now would be a good time as we, as we start to sell more and grow our ecosystem. But, um, let, let's start, let's start taking a few questions. Will there be node vote governance along the way? Um, and also, Jeff, feel free to answer any of these questions. I can take this one. Um, the smart node owners, although we have not released specific details on how this is going to work, you will actually be able to vote on initiatives in the ecosystem as a smart node, smart node owner. There will be a little tab in your smart node software that's going to say vote. And when new initiatives or ideas are proposed, you will actually be able to vote and be part of this decentralized community. So um, more details to come on that. But yes, as a smart node owner, you will be part of the decentralized voting and governance. So we are actually next week, we are going to one of the biggest fitness conferences of the year. It's called FitCon. Um, they only do it in three places. They do it in Salt Lake City, Utah. 
So if you guys are going to be close uh, to Salt Lake on the 22nd or 23rd, feel free to join us at FitCon. It's going to be awesome. Um, Donna asked, do I put this on my phone? I'm working off my home computer. I'm seeing the phone. Never mind. Okay. So she probably understands now. Yeah, it's good. It's just going to connect to, you'll download this app um, on your iOS or Android device, and then it will just connect to your Apple HealthKit, Google Fit, or Fitbit. Um, and then you'll be able to sync the data that way. Um, QR code not working for me. Caleb just dropped the link for anyone that uh, the QR code isn't working. Any update yet on the new VBS software with the Galvin Info? Hey, this is a great question, Kelly. I have some great news for you. We are actually going to be sending out tomorrow um, all of the new information for the Galvin, the new Galvin Node software for the Mac and Windows download and also the VPS setup. So expect an email um, announcement in Discord. We're gonna we're gonna send out information on how to how to uh, get all of that set up. So um, yeah, we're really excited about it. The the Node software looks great, and we love we love Galvin. So it's gonna be awesome. Um, hey Nathan, re really really quick, I saw Darren also asked. He goes, he also searched on the App Store but couldn't see it. So why don't you address that? Because oh so yeah, clear of that course. up. Yep. So this app we are currently developing it right now. Um, and so it will not be on the app store yet. You won't be able to find this. Um, however, if you would like to be part of our beta testing, which we may start here in a few weeks, um, feel free to reach out to us in discord and let us know that you'd like to be part of that. Um, and, and we can, we can maybe give you an early, we can maybe get you in as an early beta tester, but, um, we will announce to everyone once this is published, um, on the app store. How about giving t-shirts to all who purchase smart notes so we can wear and tell others best way to advertise we've talked about this <laughs> want to take that one jeff no I, I, we love this guys we we love the community as you know what we're doing here with this project is we start with building the 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 blockchain community right i, I think i've used the example before on some of these calls it's like every node is like we're setting up a cell phone tower and then we turn on the network and then we start selling cell phones, we bring in the community. And so we're moving all those along at the same time. So we love and appreciate all the node owners here that are our cell phone towers and turn them on. So yes, we, we've talked a lot about that. We wanna get you guys some swag and uh, get you guys out there representing. Now that we have settled on the name, we'll kind of go full steam on on some swag stuff and get do some other fun, um, you know, competitions or, or giveaways and things like that so we'll try to get some stuff in your guys's hands for sure um one other just note i thought i'd throw out there just since we were talking about it is you know um everybody on this call again we appreciate your support but you and you know we we um so yeah so please do refer people to us to come to that to, to the fit con if you know people in, that you know live in the salt lake area to come see us you know, the whole goal here with blockchain projects and especially with what we're doing here is we're trying to gain a community, right? The more people involved, the more successful it is for all of us. And so we want to get more, you know, node owners across the board. We want to get more fitness users. So this is our first foray, like we said, into the FitCon, which is not a um, a blockchain uh, centered uh event but we're we're going to start targeting you know mainstream you know fitness users and eventually health users and mental wellness and get all these things and try to get people turned on to our community and then also all the people that are interested in blockchain in, in our community so we we love you guys you know keep sharing keep inviting keep bringing people so yes we will get you swag so it if it helps you share and bring people in the community so it could be good for all of us so we'll do that Nathan, Nathan, would you go would you go ahead and, and address that john just asked if we set up a blue node on a on a vps do we need to reset it up with galvin that's a good question <clears throat> yes so here i'll explain this real quick um sorry i forgot to to um talk about this so vps's and node software you're gonna you're going to have to reset up the VPS and re-download a new node software for Galvin. Um, and, and we're going to give people a few weeks to switch over. And in the meantime, your blue VPSs are still going to work. Um, and then in a few weeks, once most of the people, once most everyone has switched over, we're going to turn off the blue node side of things and blue will officially be put in the grave. Um, but <laughs> But yeah, you will have to reset it up. We're going to send out detailed instructions about this tomorrow. So um, yeah. we'll keep you guys posted on all those timelines when we yep. turn them off and everything else. So, yep. 
So, hey, thank you guys so much. We love our community. Um, keep sharing, keep galvanizing, and we will we'll do one of these again soon. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.